Hey y'all. Well, good morning. I am going to be getting ready with you again. It seems like I get ready with y'all every day now. Y'all get sick of that? If you do, you don't have to watch the Get Ready with me. But it gives you, you can turn it on and you can get ready and we can get ready together. <laughs> That's how I see it. Okay. I did not put moisturizer on today. Now I am going to put it under my eyes. Um, but I'm going to use that It Cosmetics moisture stuff. That sounds so professional. Because that is my joy. I mean, my goal, isn't it? To sound professional to y'all. Oh, I also got some stuff I'm going to show you in, uh, later today. I won't have time right now, but I'm going to do a little haul of Francesca's, <clears throat> which is a cute little boutique. Um, I am using the L'Oreal Age Perfect Eye Renewal Cream. Just half of a squirt, because we just realize it's too much. You don't need much of this at all. It's very liquidy. Um, it doesn't feel as rich as my Chanel Will Lift Cream Riche. Um... But then, the price is Chanel, right? So, I just pat this in. And I want to do my little research. Or you can just look up. I mean, this wouldn't be hard to look up at all. L'Oreal Age Perfect Eye Renewal Cream. And it doesn't say on here. I'm sure it did on the packaging or I wouldn't have bought it. <clears throat> Whether it has hyaluronic acid or what peptide, what it has in it. That would have made me say, hey, I want to get that for wrinkles or for depuffing my eyes in the morning. I don't really have dark <coughs> dark circles yet. I don't know if I'll get them. I, I don't know what causes people to get those. So, someone once told me it was hereditary and I hope you're going to shine brightly today. There was a little sign at Francesca's because I'm going to do a new set eventually. Set many I will film from a different room at some point. I guess I film from all over the place. but um, And it says she leaves a little sparkle behind wherever she goes or something like that. And I just thought, that's so mean. It went back to my little cup. Right? Okay. So comment below if you think I should get it. <laughs> I'm not sure where I'm going to build the set, for one thing. Probably my son's room. But he isn't. I mean, he's moved out. My gosh, he's moved out. He's been out. And he should be. He's 28 years old. But, um... He's not out, out. You know what I mean? He's not, um, like, he hasn't taken all his stuff. He's only taken some of his stuff. That's okay. I think sometimes kids leave a little bit of an anchor, and this is home, so. Um, okay. So, what am I doing? Well, it's home. He also has a natural mom. I'm his stepmom, and so that's his home also. There's many downsides to the divorce, but there's a couple of upsides, and that is the fact that he has two homes. He has two places he can go that you can call home. Um, <clears throat> and when they're growing up, they can play that thing. They can just play. If you don't get it for me, they will. So that's a benefit for them. The parents feel so guilty about the divorce that they say okay on things. I'm so glad to see. That's actually the danger of parenting when you, you're divorced. Oh, divorce is awful. It's awful for the kids. It's awful to go through. Anyway, it's not the answer, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> but, I mean, there are cases where I would say, I don't know, the Lord said don't, but I know that there's certain circumstances where if the Lord were speaking in my ear right now, he'd say, except for this, obviously, adultery. But um, I don't think God wants anybody's da life to be in danger if you're in domestic violence. Um but if it's just problems to work through, I think he wants us to work them through. Um, being more less about self. And that's that's a tall order. I failed it. And, um, you know, I believe that he's forgiven me for that because I've asked him to. Um, but anyway, how did I get on such a dreary subject this early in the morning when I should be talking about bye-bye foundation? Bye-bye foundation. It says foundation, but then it says underneath full coverage moisturizer. But it is a foundation because it's color. I did two squirts. And then what I was going to tell you what was good is it's a good thing that I laid this on its side because yesterday, I don't remember if I said it in the video or not. But um, 
it um y'all when i put this on right at first it shows what a difference this color is to my face look <laughs> anyway um so often i do what i just did i know it drives you crazy i'm sorry i'm so sorry do you not ever do things that you wish you didn't do what in the crap is that a little piece of skin is that is that an old zip? Well, it had a scab, so I just got it off. Sorry about that. We're about real life situations here. <laughs> but do always examine right the center of your face. Because that is what people look at. I like to put this on a little small strokes. Like this to make sure I get everything I want to get. And then I blend it. Like that. So I've got... And the reason you always see me do the first strokes here and here is that's where I've got the worst age spots. Except for that big one right there. And so then I swirl it the other direction just to make sure you're not missing anything. And, um, you know, just make sure you don't have little lines. Just to get good coverage. And then up here with the least amount, which is with whatever is left on the brush is what comes up here. Because I want to continue the cover. Color, I mean. But I don't want a lot of excess product up here. I'm going to go ahead and go over my eyelids. I don't think that could hurt. See the color difference? That's why you drop your jaw and go past your ear right there. So it kind of brushes that. And you go up and down and just kind of blend that out. You just want to, you don't want to add a lot of coverage. This is just what's left on your brush. But you're just making sure there's no line. And also you're kind of blending this color down. Almost in a smoky way meaning it's fading as you're going down because less and less is on the brush and you're also cleaning the brush off and then i move my necklace and i do the same thing here just to kind of have a little bit of the the color here whatever's left and there isn't much and you can stamp it in right on either side of your nose and on your nose where you have those big pores all that does stamping it all that does is push it into the pores, and that does help the look because it'll look more matte. That's just the truth. All right. Am I going to go easy? Let's use a face palette. I have these expensive face palettes. Yesterday I used the, um, I don't even know if I filmed it. I used the chocolate bar because this is um, a um, palette that I used and used and used and used and, um, it just never wore down at all. And then I started getting more palettes and then use it. Still has a, a slight scent of the chocolate because I think there's actually cocoa in it. But um, this is a great palette. It's just a great warm neutral palette. It has a little bit of color with the violet and these, this cherry color right here. Violet color right there. But um, it's just a great brown palette. And it's got some cool colors, too. So it's, it's really warm here, but it's cool here. The fact that it's got really large ones for the highlight, both a matte and a uh, shimmer, is a huge probably in your collection. I showed you yesterday, or day before yesterday, in your collection, there would be two things that I definitely would have. What did I do with it? I think it all the way down here. I did. If you only had to have two eye palettes, and these are eye only, I would say that the a Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette is a great palette to have. It's got a lot of product. The pans are not too thin. Um, the fact that it has a matte highlighter up here and a shimmer highlighter down here in a larger size. Because you use highlighter not just here, but in your inner corner. Sometimes you can use it for your face. Over your lid sometime, which I do almost every day. Um, and then all those warm colors, neutral colors to blend with and then there's some pops of color and some dark color to do outer corners maybe mix it up a little bit using just the pinks here like this shimmer it's a little more uh, champagne it says champagne truffle but to me it's got a little bit of pink undertone like pink champagne and then strawberry bonbon and uh cherry cordial these are like um candy names i guess chocolate candies creme brulee gilded ganache milk chocolate um salted caramel to me is the best um transition color that and milk chocolate and then you've got this um tri triple fudge which is great for outer corner you can even line with it with your both your eyeliner and your brow and then this black forest truffle the candied violet amaretto and cherry cordial 
could be great for just adding some color. But all these, they're great. There's beautiful golds, creme brulee, and hazelnut. Um, I haven't even used this marzipan. That's a true champagne color. That's not. That's pink champagne. That's champagne. Or we name it. And I haven't used the, used the gilded ganache very much. So this is a great palette, y'all. The other one that I was telling y'all about yesterday was the It Cosmetics one. This is the square one. Was, I think it was their first one, first eye palette. But this, again, it's got a great blend of matte. These are matte. These are slightly sateen. I wouldn't even call them um, shimmers. There's not a strong shimmer in this, if anything, these two. Maybe that, and maybe that. And then you've got these pops of color, which I love this color. Y'all know I love blues. Um, that blue, a purple. So you could use these lighter colors and go purple and give a real cool tone. This is a pretty warm palette. And then, of course, a black, which every palette needs a black. That one didn't have one. But anyway, this is also anti-aging um, ingredients in it. It comes with a little brush that has basically a shader and a liner on it. The other one does not come with a brush. So, anyway. Um, I am going to use, should I do clay de peau or should I, let's just use this very expensive that I have not even used that much. Um, Guerlain Palette Gold came out at Christmas time. And I haven't used it. And I paid a lot of money for this. It was around 100 bucks. This is a full face palette. And it's got, I don't, I don't want to put the mirror at you, but I don't know if y'all can see right on the mirror right there. Let me see if I can get the light right on it so you can see. They have a little face map there. And it kind of tells you how to apply all these colors. It is mostly golden based. But it has highlighter and blush. It did not come with um, face brush, but it did come with this little shader and liner. Um, that's really not worth much. It's not a good brush at all. These are very shimmery, so I don't know why I got this. I would say that you would use this at parties. Little parties. This is going to be too.